Love seeing games with heaps of colonizers instead of just one or two dominating. Well, apparently that's one of the really big things that Dharma does. Is it makes loads and loads more people interested in going um, for Africa and India. Look, for example, someone I don't think I've ever seen colonizing. Tuscany. Tuscany are getting involved because they have a lot of money because they own a lot. And also that place is redonkulously rich. So they're starting to get charter companies in Africa. And yeah, the uh, Paradox have tested that system extensively and they said, yeah, the AI actually really takes to this. I've yet to see it myself because I simply haven't got that far yet. But it looks positive. I could get a new colonist. Do I want to? I mean... Yeah, that was part of the reason for me going expansion in the first place. So I could, like, totally do this, dude. Right. Are there any differences in terms of the quality of these... Yes. Yes, there are. That one. Can't reach it. Alright, I'm going to go for South Georgia. That's going to give me a lot of range over a lot of stuff. Or I could double down on that. Or... Or... New Amsterdam. Which is not a trade center. In fact, the only one in Con in Chesapeake Bay is Massachusetts. Really? I guess we'll have to go for Massachusetts then. Also, ships while you're available, I need you to go down to Zosa and shift those guys over to here. I'm not fabricating yet. Fabricate, fabricate, fabricate. Where are you? There you are. It's not actually called fabricate, not yet. The rains fail in the West African coast. Which Calabar? Still going, but sodding nearly done. Zosa is done, so you can join the trade company. Still called the Portuguese West Africa. Why? Spain is the biggest share. Actually, yeah, Spain does. For the moment. At least until I start investing a little more heavily in the area. Truce of these freezer has ended. That is going suspiciously slowly. Nope, Flanders still really likes us. Uh, can promote investments. Causes inflation of 0 0.03, but increases trade company province trade by 50%. We should absolutely have that enabled. We're the Dutch. We actually have a national idea. That one, which we get really early, which reduces inflation reduction. Oh, reduces inflation. Wasn't the Hudson Bay trade noted for fur? Yes. Loads of fur came from there. What about the Falklands as a trade point? Falklands already been claimed by Spain. I was too late. Didn't get there in time. Actually, it looks like New Spain is losing this war. Uh, Calabar is complete. Excellent. So that's not another colonist. But I can say Havana recall. And send you elsewhere instead. Still waiting for a step up from over here. I think you're going to go to South Georgia. It's going to take a bloody long time to colonize. Hmm. Mutual of Brazil. No, this is a bad move. Let's 
put in some Brazilian. They're already taking the trade points. Um, you've already taken Rio de Prata. Do I really need South America? I mean, I was mostly thinking about it for a port for the exploration. I now I have a port here. So our explorer would go Biff, 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 Biff. Yeah, we definitely need something in here. I wonder if we can explore further yet. find out. Printing press gives benefits. Since the invention of the printing press, more and more books about ever wider, no, about ever wider range of subjects have been published. We can now see the benefit of this since knowledge spreads faster and more ideas are appearing amongst our philosophers and natural scientists. Gain 20 in everything. Nice. I would like for you to explore. Ah, we can do more. Uh, Indian Ocean, South Indian Ocean, East Indian Ocean. I'm going to go East India Ocean. I mean, getting some more of Arabia would be nice, but I don't think that's critical. I do still have a uh, colonist. So we have someone in Chesapeake. We probably do want Gulf of St. Lawrence because that trade can be pushed into the North Sea and then from the North Sea into the English Channel. And I happen to know this area is juicy for that. So we're going to send one here. It is unfortunately Arctic, but as I go f further south, oh, this is all Arctic. Mm. Just take a bit longer. The True Neckbeard, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the channel. Take Panama. How to annoy the French in one easy step. No, they've done it already. I think I will be trying to put a pretty strong number of troops in this area though 15 yet. well actually regardless I shouldn't do it until we have ca um, caught it While I'm at this, we desperately need that as well. I'm going to build two more transports, because then I can transport half of my army at a time. Speaking of transports, where are you right now? There. Because Zofsa is done, you can jump in the transports and head over. Here, and hold on to that. Kind of looks like they haven't updated the trade centers in the Americas at all. Feels like with the new system that they're a bit few there now. Yeah, I actually agree with you. One. None. One. One. Two. One. One, two, three, four. This does feel fairly n normal, like previous. A couple more in Brazil, maybe. Commandant has died. Let's get a new guy. Uh, discipline, but you're twice as expensive. Don't want to pay the money. We'll go for the land maintenance. Right, do I have any bearing over this? Can I change this at all? Gain legitimacy by spending, but no, I can't swing this. This is purely done by event. Alright. Not a problem. I think we can do speed four again. 
Ungrateful natives in Havana. Ugh, there's not a lot I can do about Havana right now. You've arrived in... Cockermess. I need you to go and pick up Dominica and then put you in Havana. Havana damaged the colony. They didn't destroy it though, which is good. And then we got a native assimilation. It's like, we're going to kill you all! And then join you. I'm not upgrading the navy until I've hit uh, Diplo 15, because there's new ships at this point. And at that point, I'm going to take a bunch of loans and just start mass-producing ships. That's when you'll see the, the expansion of the Dutch fleet. Start a Kona. Yeah, I don't have any one up there either. <laughs> Nor in Massachusetts. Alright, my spread of soldiers has faltered. <laughs> Where are they again? You're there. You're there. You're there, which has actually become a thing. You can become a trade company, so you need to get picked up and put somewhere else. And Explorer has not yet got back from Explorifying. That's because he died. So you might just want to head home rather than just hanging out in the middle of the uh, Pacific. Just a thought. Just a thought. Colonist rush. Awesome. Uh, Ten years of extra settler chance and also 25% settler increase. That's really good for us. Okay, so you've arrived there. Need to pick up these three. Renewed the loan. That was the Barkers. The Barkers are happy! We're gaining the trade efficiency! Bring in the money. The clergy are happy as well. Everyone's happy. I'm happy. I'm making money. And I can get the global settler increase again. That's 15 influence. Totally worth it. Not dangerous. Could also ask you for a contribution. That would piss you off. Not going to do it. Ask you for a contribution. That would piss you off. Making tax money. Tax money is kind of important. So, uh, that's for points though. And you could definitely give me military support. I could do a... I could grant a generalship, which would give me a 40 tradition general. Which is actually a backward step right now. Group minister. Yeah, isn't there a thing about ministers, if you have a certain amount of influence, that they be, then become cheaper? So I'm going to call a Diet, which gets you over 50. No, you still don't have the uh, cost reduction. Maybe it's a 60% influence thing? I don't remember. Have I circumnavigated the globe yet? No. That didn't reset at all. But I do get 100 military power. And in fact... I need to spend it. Um, again, I'm not going to increase the development thing. Could. That'd be another 10%. But this is going to be a whole year where I don't get the 50% trade power. You know what? No. I will instead get a quality idea because obviously I'm going to be able to afford this. Six hundred. Gonna be spending three hundred-ish. Four hundred. Worth it, do it anyway. Alright, and we're working on platoon fire now. Ship durability plus five. Oh, I never did read the army sappers when we got the colonists. Sorry about that. Back in the good old days when siege works were dug by locals and pressed into service, these people were not always keen to do the work. By making digging such trenches the job of the army, we got better trenches quicker. Yeah, Cuba started already. 
Uh, how are we doing? Alright, so we have enough to launch the attack, but again, I can colonial nations form when you're at war? I'm not sure they can. Wow. That side keeps on growing. Venice joined. Kazan joined. Portugal joined their team. France and the Ottomans still standing out. So Kazan will be fighting against Muscovy. That's good. That's going to keep Muscovy busy. I was a little bit worried about the combined manpower of Muscovy and uh, Bohemia just overwhelming everyone. We'll be in a position to repay that loan soon. Still need to focus on that. There's joined Massachusetts to damage the colony and destroyed it. Yeah, I really need to get some troops over there. Transports are picking you up right now. I wonder if... If we have Massachusetts and a colony up here, whether you two will be able to support each other. With the natives right there, no. But if I took out the natives, then maybe. Destroyed? Not destroyed, they survived. Well done. Uh, let's send another guy to Massachusetts then. Denmark declared war on Austria. Succession war. For whom? Austria, Hungary, Baden, Württemberg, Brandenburg, and Munster. And they're at war with Bohemia at the same time. Hungary, Württemberg. So that war is over Württemberg? Yep. Huh. Also, Prussia formed. And Prussia, of course, is rivals with Brandenburg. Can't have a Prussia on the map and a Brandenburg. That would just be insane. Havana. Havana, we have a garrison, so that's fine. Did those finish yet? No, but soon. Very soon. There it is. One of them. Nobles demand privileges. I cannot really afford the unrest right now, so I will take the 10 prestige. Austria's hiring Condottieri. No, the brewer died. Need a new ruler, a new general. Andres van Haren? Should we try hiring another one? No, because we need the points. Yeah, the Livonian order is alive and kicking, and doing really quite well, in fact. Stretching almost all the way down to the Black Sea. That's crazy. And there we go, military. Boom! Charge of Mauritian infantry. And if we don't take Mauritian infantry, then we're not allowed to be Dutch. Because that was formed by. Maritz von Nassau, who is a Dutchman. It does more fire damage, but less shock. So this is when fire starts to take over. So it's a good thing that we're only two ideas away from you. And that's the two new transports done. Which we need to send... over here, I think. In fact, yes, I'm going to train two more... Oh, wow, yeah, we're behind our force limit. That's fine. We're going to go ahead and train two infantry. Right here. So we've got those two. We'll have... These guys... Up in Massachusetts... Well... You should really be in Africa. Are there any other colonies that we want in Africa? Unfortunately, there is nothing we can do in East Africa. We could continue to snake up here. And considering our assimilation tech, we probably should do that. Although the Europeans don't seem particularly bothered about moving over. We can actually see the Maldives. We can see that they have no allies.
That would be a... Actually, don't do that. Uh, no, don't do that. Um, we need expansion to go after that, I think. That's not in a colonial region, it's in the trade company area. Once we have expansion, we can declare war on them freely. But otherwise, we don't have any adjacencies, which means that we can't get any fabrications. Even if we did have the spy network going. Is this the soundtrack? This is the music from the game, yeah. Unedited. Hey, Burke Bessia. What was I in the process of doing? I was waiting for you to finish ships. I was moving ships around. Because I needed to decide where I wanted my transports. Right, you're missing your explorer, which we do want to rehire. Oh, that's a good explorer. You can continue searching. I want you to search the South Indian Ocean, which is going to be... Actually, that's probably just going to be this bit. South Indian... South China Sea? That's going to be up there. Eastern Indian Ocean, that's going to be... What's this bit? I want to get a connection, because we can sail in over... Oh no, we didn't take that province. We can sail up to here, though. It's going to be a long way, so we do need to explore as much of this as possible. South Indian Ocean. We'll start with that. Simon Staven. One of our advisors, Simon Staven, has received great support in their efforts in developing astronomical instruments and measuring and fixing the positions of the stars. His observations include a comprehensive study of the solar system and the accurate positions of more than 777 fixed stars. Gain stability and also admin cost reduction, or prestige and admin cost reduction. I will take that stability. Ooh. I have suddenly become the boss of the Protestant League. I'm not sure I like to be the boss of the Protestant League. I'd rather someone else were the boss of the Protestant League. Why am I the boss of the Protestant League? I have the biggest military. No way. To become the leader of the League, Brandenburg would need a military score of more than 280 due to the current leader having 186. Maximum manpower, force limit, and tactics determine the military score. The score of Brandenburg is lowered because they're at war. He's raised because they're an elector. Oh, so there must be some crazy-ass war going on right now. Really? Oh, but you've been warned. The Maldives exist in 1583, you should give them some slack instead to support their independence. I usually see the Maldives do pretty well, because they're so isolated. East Indian is off the Western Australia. Ah, okay. Go to the region map mode to see, see region names. Oh, yeah. Oh no, that's not sea road names. Region. Oh, I did not know that. Okay, that's pretty useful. Thank you for that. One thousand four hundred ninety-five hours in. I've just learned something new. Alright, so you've arrived. No, you're getting picked up. Where was I taking you? I think I'm going to put you in Massachusetts. And I'll put the other army in Stratacona. Because these two have just been built. Right, there's all the cores. And those cores together should mean... Beginning of the month... Uh, 
there it is. <laughs> I was like, where are you? You're supposed to be here. Um, we were going to call this New Flanders. New Flanderen. I think that's how you spell it. V L A A N D E R E N. It is. So, New Flanderen. Well, marriage with Flanders ends as a result. <laughs> he was so happy that he died in this sleep. Tariffs on fish. We're going to start tariffing all the things. I have learned from my mistakes in the uh, multiplayer game. Election in the Federal Kingdom. Statist with a 163 or 165. Uh, Andries van Lundsberg. Or Willem V van Brabant. Lundsberg. 165. So admin wise, we kind of suck. But Diplo and military, we are on fire. And Diplo is what I really, 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 really want. Right, now that we have Neil Flanderen. It has added those two provinces, so they are going to call it. I don't need to worry. We can now declare war on the Zapotec. We'll be fighting against Tlan... No, we can't, because I need to... Fabricate the claim on Mix. Wait a day. Do that. Declare war. Mix. Cobelligerized Tlampec. What's that going to pull me into a war against? Just them. So yes, I will do that. Cobelligerized. Take mix. Confirm. Invade. And there's something else I wanted to do. Oh yeah. What's my income? Six. I'm going to set up a subsidy for Neil Flanderen as soon as I'm able to do so. And we have one too few colonies. No, we have Massachusetts on the way. We don't. Finland is growing. We're definitely going to have a rival over there. And Bohemia took it. No. Alsace took it. Okay, that's fine. You can have it, Alsace. Detach Siege. We're just going to start expanding. Creation of the Amsterdam Stock Exchange. In the wake of the creation of the Bank of Amsterdam in 1609, the city's stock exchange has become more and more active. Having taken over from Antwerp the role of the leading financial place, the stock exchange flourished. Funds from all over Europe would become available and loans easily accessible at rates unmatched anywhere else. This was enhanced by the capitalistic success of the Dutch East India Company in 1602, and even the less successful West India Company of 1621. So we can expand the loan market, which gives me a interest per annum reduction for the rest of the game, or inflation reduction for the rest of the game. Well, I already have significant inflation reduction. This kind of depends on whether I'm going to get a lot of gold. I think I'm going to take the interest reduction. Inflation we've already got. Minus 0.0... Uh, not minus 0.2. So we're never going to have inflation problems, basically. Yeah, that. And that also gives me innovation, so that goes up too. Portugal's taking a bit of Cuba. That's fine. We've got the important bit, which is Havana. Uh, detach. And head on over there. Right, do I have any diplomats available yet? Nope. Do I have any vassals? Yes, two. One which is currently in the process of being annexed. Can I... No, no I can. Subsidy to New Flanderen. Subsidy, subsidy, subsidies. Uh, for 50 years, you can have two ducatses. That should help you grow. Depends on whether I get lots of gold conquers Mexico. The thing with that, though, is the gold is going to be... Or rather, the inflation is going to be absorbed by Mexico, the colony here. New Flanders. 